Hey Gemini. So a very strong message I was getting for you guys was uh, the things you are creating right now or thinking about creating is going to provide you with financial stability. And I mean, it could be, of course, your job and all of that, but I really am getting this is something that you create or a service that you provide, something like that, that is really going to uh, provide you with the finances that you really want in the very near future. Also, I would like to give a thank you to everyone that has joined my Patreon and who has gained access to those readings. Also, I would like to thank everyone that has gone and supported my second channel. I do love doing the tarot, but I also love to do a ton of other shit as well. So thank you so much for subscribing to that. Also, to everyone who has purchased a pair of lashes at jayslashes.com, I always get so many compliments on my lashes and that is where you can get the exact ones that I wear. Now. I am noticing that the Queen of Swords keeps showing itself to me, so I really feel that you guys are very much so in your power, very focused on what you want to accomplish. We do have the High Priestess here with the World card, so I really feel you guys are just going with the flow right now, and I really like that, doing things that you want to do, and I do feel like you guys have a very good balance right now of work, um, your creations, and fun, so... I'm really feeling a very balanced energy from you guys. Universe, what is the energy surrounding Gemini? Okay, so we do have the Four of Pentacles. Now, for some of you, I do feel that even though, oh yeah, Queen of Swords, she did want to come out. Even though things overall, I feel, are going great, definitely going in the right direction. We do have the Six of Wands here, so I feel like even other people are seeing you do great with your job, your business, um, whatever, you know, things that may be for you, but... I do feel like there's something missing and it definitely could be love or whatever it may be but I do feel you guys I want to say a sense of I almost want to say boredom maybe your love life just seems very stagnant very bored universe what is the energy surrounding Gemini what is the energy surrounding Gemini okay so we do have the full card energy here as well. Now, the full card to me, this is taking a leap of faith. This is taking a chance. And I feel like that is exactly what you guys are doing. Like, I really love this picture of this person because she don't give a shit. She's just going to go for it. She's going to do what she want to do um, have a good time. And I really feel that is the energy that you guys are in. And that's the energy that, like, that's the advice for you guys to kind of just take a leap of faith. Do what you want. Um, do, like, this person here, she's creating. And look what it comes with. Like, the Ace of Pentacles. So, like I said, your creations, your creative projects is what's going to bring you this money. And, like, the Ace of Pentacles, this is not just, like, you know, your 9 to 5, all right, you make all right money. This is, like, riches right here. Like, I definitely feel whatever it is. I mean, you could win awards for this shit like whatever it is that you're doing so i do feel like it's very important for you to almost focus on this as much as you focus on your nine to five i do feel like this is, is equally as important as you know whatever you're doing to pay your bills so do know that the energy you're putting into your art is going to pay off for you in a huge way like i feel like it's going to take care of you for the rest of your life someday so we do have these six of swords here some of you guys may be traveling but also six of swords this is like just being very at peace at where you are even if love life does seem a little bit stagnant at this time i do feel like you guys are just walking into a place to where you're just very at peace like you're very okay with spending time with yourself doing things for yourself focusing on yourself which is a very very great energy to be in what is the energy surrounding Gemini's love life? Oh, cool. Ooh, all right. So we have the moon card here and the devil. So when I think of the devil, like, I feel like when we're talking about love, this makes me think of temptation. I do feel like there could be people in your life. Now, whether this is um, people that you know are just like not relationship material or um, even these could be past people in your life. I do feel like you might be tempted to, you know, have fun with these people or whatever. But do know with the devil energy, I don't feel that this is going to turn into something. I do feel an energy. And of course, signs I'm getting are Capricorn, Cancer, 
um, Pisces as well, Aries. But for some reason, I'm feeling like somebody... I don't feel like it's like bad, like up to no good. But do know that if you are going to reconnect with someone that is a little bit tempting for you, could even be a past person, uh, it's not going to go anywhere serious. So just be aware of that. Now we do have the Ace of Wands energy. So I definitely feel there is going to be new love coming into your life very soon. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Why is the Ace of Wands here? Okay, so we do have the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, your patience here is going to pay off in love as well. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, this is somebody that wants, that's reliable for one, but also wants um, stability. So I do feel like you just focusing on yourself and being patient in love is absolutely the right thing for you to do because this love is coming in. Now we do have the magician here at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this love is coming in very soon. And I really do love that the six of cups is right underneath that because this is soulmate energy. So it's like, yeah, you're waiting for love to come in, but this love that is coming in, this is going to be the person you're going to be with like for a very long time, if not forever. So do know that what it's worth the wait absolutely worth the wait um i do also want to say now is the time especially being in gemini season happy birthday to all of you guys by the way um be creative at this time you're going to get the best ideas the best whatever it is that you do at this time so do take time especially now to be creative and to do what you want to do and shit like that brainstorm all of that i know i'm a gemini rising and i am feeling extra creative right now so definitely take advantage of this energy that we are in now the hermit card we do have here flew across the way this is just kind of confirming what i was saying you're on the right path what are you doing right now everything you're thinking right now things you're creating right now you're absolutely on the right path towards um, the type of success that you want to gain i also feel if you do things for other people to see maybe you're a singer a dancer um a writer, a creator, whatever it is. I feel like other people are really going to appreciate your art as well. And it is really important for you to get your shit out there because people need your content. Like I really do feel like you can help people, um, instill confidence in people, whatever it is that you're doing, do know that it is extremely important, like maybe more important than it may seem or that you even think it is actually very important. So I am going to pull an Oracle card for you guys. And these cards are just like kind of advice on what to focus on or what area in your life to focus on. And this, what is the message for Gemini? What is the message for Gemini? Okay. So we do have nourishment. Okay, so when I think of that now, for some reason, I just got, I just like, picture the physical body um do be sure you're drinking your water but also i do feel like this is just really planting your seeds really watering your seeds like i said putting a lot of energy into whatever it is that you do um youtube channel fucking tiktok writing uh whatever it is that your craft is put really put your energy into that at this time also resilience is at the bottom of the deck so definitely just be whatever your goals are just don't stop like that's really the advice i have with that like no matter how hard or stressful something gets just do not fucking stop taking action because it is all going to pay off for you in like the biggest way possible so i do hope that this reading was helpful for you if you would like a personal reading you can visit my website at swordstarot.com and yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day mm -hmm.